let's watch this uh, Alolan Volpix versus Lugia Master Ball Cincino deck. Volpix is going to have a tough time here against the Cincino. Cincino actually counters him because Cincino can attack for huge numbers, not care about the Volpix's ability of preventing all attacks. But the Volpix is still a really strong deck. I think uh, it's just gonna be a, it's gonna be good against every deck except the Lugias. So let's see how he gets this game going. I think one thing we need is to bring that Volpix out early turn one, and we are using Nest Ball, so we should be able to turn one into the Volpix. And we, after that, oh wow, we have also uh, V Star as well. That's beautiful. So yeah, we go into the Volpix. Oh no, we go into Arceus. This is interesting that he goes for the Arceus because I assume that you go for the Vulpix turn one because once Vulpix is on board, I cannot deal with it. And you don't want to put too many Arceuses on board because I could boss them around and shoot them down and do a lot of work with them. So you don't want to do that. Now there is potential that what his plan is he never plays another card down. He just plays uh, Vulpix after this. That is po po possible. And he passes turn. One DTE attachment, pass turn. Uh, he has the V-Star in his hand, so he's having a good time. It's a good uh, game right now for him. Let's start with the Capturing Aroma. Do we hit heads? Uh, we do want to hit heads. We do want to hit the heads. Because we want to get the Archaeops. So see, I don't know if he hit heads or tails. But we want to get Archaeops with these Capturing Aroma. We don't want to get anything else, really. I guess you could uh, set up for a Lugio. As well, but I think we have the Lugia in hand. We also have uh, an Iono, so we have a lot of options here. We could start the game uh, healthy, to see a lot of cards very early. It's gonna be a cool, cool, good game for us. Let's see what the Lugia player decides to do. I think he could play a Lugia down if he hit tails, and if he hit heads, it's gonna be the Archaeops, of course. Just checking out our prizes, making sure we know what's in the prize. There's a lot of energies in the prizes, so he needs to figure out what energies are prized out. All right, the choice is going to be a Cin Cincino. Oh, no, an Archaeops. For some reason, I didn't see that. Uh, yeah, so he did hit heads with the Capturing Aroma, which is great. We really want to do that. There's potential we go for the Ultra Ball here. Is that an Ultra Ball? There's a Professor's Research as well. Oh, my God. We're not going to get rid of the Research because we have Iono in hand. I think we... Yeah, that makes sense. Now Ultra Ball could get us another Archaeops and then we need to ditch it somehow. Throw it out of the game. How do we throw this Archaeops out? Do we we don't have another research? How do we throw this guy out? Is that another research? I'm not sure. I guess we don't throw it out. Oh, we do run Serena. We have Serena. We could drop down three cards with the Serena. Yeah, but we need Lugia as well. We need to play the Lugia. Down. I think we're going to go for the Iona. Well, we're going to drop basically our whole hand here. Because we need, we need to get a Lugia. Yeah. So he's going to draw two cards. He needs Lugia. Oh my god, he got the Ultra Ball. He got the Ultra Ball. No, 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 never mind. Never mind, he has a call for family attack on the Mencino. I didn't know that. I didn't know that Mencino has a call for family attack, allowing you to bring two basic Pokemon out. It's basically a Pidgeot, really, really strong ability. That's insanely good. That he didn't actually need to pull out any Ultra Balls, keep those Ultra Balls for the V-Star. Absolutely amazing. He has two Archaeops in the trash now. Wow, absolutely amazing turn. That's that Mencino is helping the Lugia deck a lot. That Mencino Cincino is gonna be crazy in the Lugia deck, bro. It literally changed the deck completely. Now what are we gonna do? We got the Volp. No, that's a Luminion. That's not a Volpix in hand. We do have Lost City. We have the V Star. I don't know what the what we're doing here. We should have had the Volpix out. I don't know why I didn't Volpix. Because if we Vulpix out, now it would have been a V-Star Vulpix, and we never ever fall back from now. We just keep attacking. But of course, the BDIF uh, Lugia does not care about abilities. It can use Sinsino to attack, and it has zero ability. 
Bro, that's insane. No, play one literally is insane. So what you do is you focus on bringing out Archives from the deck, tossing him out, and then you Cincino, Mincino, sorry, for the Lugia Mincino on the back, and that's crazy. That's so good. There's the Eerie. You get to see his whole hand. Get out the Ultra Ball. That's crazy good. This is so scary that you can Eerie any turn. Basically, I can't, I can't, can't keep Rare Candies in my hand. That's so scary. Yeah, but Eerie is a supporter, so he basically opts away from playing anything this game, which is interesting. No, that's a Vulpix. That's not a Luminion. I thought that was a Luminion. That's a Vulpix. So he could have played that Vulpix turn one. He just never played the Vulpix down. There's a V-Star. Makes sense. Use it immediately. Two energies. An energy in a research? And then knocks out the Mincino. Pulls out energy for the Vulpix. Wow. Vulpix is about to be active here. It took him a turn. Right now, if Lugia just goes after the Vulpix with a counter catcher, that's huge. Even though Lugia doesn't even need to do that. Lugia literally just means Sinos from now on. It's in Sinos, sorry. Oh, there was a there was a gift uh, energy. That was a genius play, dude. That's genius play, bro. That's so much value. So, so yeah, you could Lugia, right? you could move Lugia forward. That's a two twenty attack that takes out the Vulpix. So we need a counter catcher somehow. I think. Oh, we don't have the Ultra Ball either anymore. Oh, he got rid of the Ultra Ball with the Eerie. That's huge. Bro, this guy is crazy. So this is a real control deck, not the Stor Snorlax stall bullshit where you just play Snorlax down and pass. This guy is actually a tactical genius. That he's playing Eeries down right, um, figuring out the perfect timing for the Vulpix. I think he waited too long for the Vulpix. I think Vulpix should have been there. Should have been a V starred now, and he should be attacking with it only, nothing else. So now our goal here is to become a V star. Let's see, can we do it? Oh yeah, Iono needs to find us a V star. Iona needs to find a V-Star. I think this is a good Iona because the guy really liked his hand. He just V-Starred in his hand. So that was a really good Iona because you just got rid of whatever he V-Starred in. And there's the Lugia V-Star. Yeah, the Arceus uh, just V-Starred in two cards and he lost one of them right now. So that was a really good Iona. There's the Lugia activated. Lugia cannot KO anything except the Vulpix and the Arceus in the back. I think... No, I don't think we can even KO the Arceus. In the back. I think we can only kill, especially if we have a DTE, we cannot do it. it. Depends on what we attach, what kind of energy we attach here with the Archeops. Archeops is absolutely broken, guys. So he's going to attach, what, four energies onto the Lugia? Is that what he's going to do? Or is he going to give any energy to the Mincino? We'll see. We'll see. I want to see the sequence of how much energy he's going to give out. Where? So turn two, I think he gives three energy to Lugia, one to Mincino, right? That's crazy good. Honestly, I think you go after the Archeops. I know it sounds crazy, but I think you go after the Archeops. I think he wants to give out two full Archeopses every single turn. And he wants to do it twice at least. So if you go after the Archeops turn one, now he can only get six energy out, which is not ideal. Instead of the eight. Yeah, but if you don't go after the Archeops, he just gets 12 energy. It's crazy. He gets 4 every turn. And then 3 turns, he wins. No, no, no. Whereas if you go after the Archeops, he only gets 6. No, no, no. I think you have to go after the Archeops. Yeah, you literally go after Archeops. And you Contra Catcher into the Archeops. That's the only way. Boss and Contra Catcher into it. You don't even care about Lugia. As a Charizard player, Lugia takes 2, two hits to KO you anyway. So you go after Archeops here. Yeah, I think that's the only way you can uh, win against Lugia as a Charizard. You literally have to go after the Archeops. I don't know if this guy's going to go after the Archeops, but if he doesn't, he's going to have a very bad time. Because since Cena right now is not active, it cannot do anything to the Alolan Vulpix, but in two turns it will. But he needs to find a boss, and this is going to be almost impossible to do after the Iono. I want to see his hand. We need to see his hand. He needs a boss right now. Well, the boss is in his hand. 
He's gonna boss in the Archeops. You have to boss in Archeops. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not sure the idea here behind this plan. You have to boss in the Archeops. If he had Share and Scare, no, you don't even wanna Share and Scare. You wanna boss in the Archeops. That's the only play right now. Yeah, we have to put DTE in here. Yeah, oh my god, he got in the Cincino. No, 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 no. That's how you know the guy doesn't know how to play against this matchup. There's no way the right thing to do is to go after Cincino there. There's no way the thing you wanted to do is to go after Cincino. That's insane to me, guys. Why would you go after Cincino there? Bro, if he, if he took out the Archeops, Cincino wouldn't have been active anyways. It doesn't matter what Cincino does if he took out the Archeops. Because Cincino depends on every single card attached. So it doesn't matter if he attaches double DTE with the Archeops. Doesn't matter. No, no. Vulpix threw the game there. Wow, he literally had every way to come out of this game. Look at this. All I have to do now is play down one Cincino. And I screw you. Oh my god. This was really not great. Got a Cincino in hand. Capturing Aroma actually needs to hit Tails here. No, he hits Heads. He has to get a Evo. Pokemon. Capturing Aroma's trash card, man. It's so weird. You don't even know what you're gonna get until you flip the coin. That's so bad. Like, I don't like that at all. Such a trash idea. Wait, 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 wait. He gets basic Pokemon? No, he has to be evil. Yeah, he hit heads. I don't even know what the hell is happening. I guess he's not going to go for the Cincino anymore. He has the Cincino in hand. That's why. There's the Lugia. Man, we made a mistake. Now we're just going to double Archeops into the Lugia. This is such a bad idea. Like, look, imagine how the game would have been if it only had one Archeops right now. He's so far behind because he doesn't have the the pieces he needs. Like even if he had one, arc, let's say he kept them in Sino, he can't activate it. He, what is he gonna hit for? 140? It's nothing. We messed up here. We absolutely messed up. I think going after the Archeops would have been amazing. Then try to go after the second Archeops to completely end the game. And then just deal with the Lugias. That's a very easy game for you after that. Um, but no, this is a very bad mistake. And this is crazy because we actually had the the out. We actually had a way to come out of this. I'm so mad at the Archeops player. Archeops. Archeops. Not the Archeops. The Arceus. And we took out the Vulpix as well. Man, get out of here, man. What the hell is this, man? This guy got the second place? With this trash plays? Took two turns to play a Vulpix. You could have played that Vulpix early. You had it in your hand the whole time. Get out of here, man. This guy, I don't even know think I don't even think he knows how to play this game. It's crazy. The, absolutely wrong decisions. I think he just cracked. You know what it is? I think he knows this is the his worst matchup and he's cracking. I think he does. He's like, man, freaking hell, Vulpix is the this is the only deck that Vulpix doesn't work against. And he literally relied on just his meme deck memeing on others. The Vulpix just memeing. He literally is making every wrong decision possible in the game. And I get it. You only, you're, you're, you're stuck with whatever is in your hand. But still, you're making terrible decisions. Absolutely horrible decisions. That Mencino dying gave you zero value. Absolutely zero value on killing that Mencino. Abs I don't even understand what that was. Then you let your Vulpix die? The only reason this deck is good is because what, this is what it does. It goes Arceus turn one into Vulpix. That's it. Every single turn does Arceus turn one Vulpix. That's the only reason it's good. So you can V-star into Vulpix and from there on the opponent can never KO it. But this guy messed up the whole game. I can't believe this deck got to second place. Either the Japanese got got surprised by this uh, deck. Because it's not like a genius play or anything. I thought he's playing in a genius way. Like playing the Vulpix turn one every single time. Forcing the opponent to deal with it. Or if he's not able to, that's it. Vulpix activates, that's game over. 
The guy did not even play a Vulpix down when he had it in his hand. He didn't play it down. And now he lost his Vulpix. He cannot Evo again. Now he's playing with an army of Arceus. Absolutely pathetic! I'm so mad! What is this? Bro, if this is- if I'm Charizard and this is what I'm seeing in front of me, I would be laughing! This is the finals? Literally one shot everything on his board. No answer to me! He has no answer to me as a Charizard player. This is laughable, bro. This is the finals? Absolutely laughable. I think what happened was everyone is playing new deck. Nobody knows the decks. And this guy came out on top with some luck. Nobody knew how to play against the Vulpex. Makes sense. Especially, especially other Charizard players are like, what the hell is this? Man, but I'm not, I'm not impressed in any way. I'm not impressed at all. We made every wrong decision possible. Literally. Never played the Vulpix down. We're all, now we have an army of Archea, Arceus, like, that, like as if that's going to do anything to us. As if, as if these Arceus are going to do anything versus this Lugia. Bro, the guy threw the game. He never got set up with a Vulpix, so he threw the game. He went after the Cincino because he wanted to set up a Vulpix and still never went, <laughs> never set up the Vulpix. And now the guy doesn't even need Cincino, he's just gonna KO the Arceus. This is insane, bro. This is pathetic. I get it if, if Vulpix didn't have the cards, I get it. I'd be like, man, damn, he, didn't, he needed one more boss, right? Damn, he, he didn't draw into Vulpix turn one, Nest Ball, Nest Ball, Vulpix. Damn, that sucks. The guy had everything. He had Nest Ball, Vulpix, DTE turn one. He had a boss at the same time he needed. He e read out the Ultra Ball. He literally did everything to hurt the Lugia and he's still losing. Literally the perfect game. Still losing. This is crazy. Yay, Greninja. We have another boss. He's going to go after Cincina. Watch. Absolutely zero value plays. You can go after the Lugia, it's just too late. Now Cincino just one shots you. Yeah, that's game over. He could go after Lugia. He can boss in the Lugia, but that's game over. Isn't that game over? That's game over. It, oh my god, wait the hell, he actually doesn't want boss? Oh my god, I'm so mad right now. The guy is literally breaking in front of us. He's literally breaking apart. Like he's making the, every wrong decision. I guess you boss there into the Lugia doesn't give you anything except two prizes, I guess? I don't know. I don't even know, bro. What the hell did you get from the professor's research? Absolutely nothing. You literally got nothing from the research. You just failed your nest ball. You got zero value from the reach. You got super rod. That's what you're happy about? A super rod play? So your whole research was for the super rod. Let's see what you pull out. He's gonna pull out another Arceus. I'm mad. I'm, I'm done with this game. Bro, I'm done. How many Arceuses do you need, man? Look, Lugia, draw, punch. Or no, boss in punch. That's game over. F out of here, man. Get out of here. He drew into the boss too? No way he just drew into a boss. No way he drew into the boss. You're crazy, guys. Wow, I want to see what he drew into. I want to see how what he drew into. Wait, wait. Can we go slow? Oh, I swear he drew into the boss. I swear to God he drew boss. What the fuck? That's crazy. I swear he drew the boss. Useless. Bro, imagine you playing against this deck. This is the finals. Bro, I'll be laughing my ass off. I'll be like, what? You're the finalist. <laughs> Thank God I'm against you, Volpix. Fucking loser. The loser deck. Vulpix never even showed up the whole time. He's so scared. I want to see what he drew. No, he drew a Lugia. 
Yeah, he drew Lugia. Nah, never mind. He, drew, he had the box already. <laughs> That's hilarious. If he drew into the boss, I'd be like... <laughs> I mean, the game is over anyways. There's no way you can set up a ball pick. What are you going to do? You're going to keep chasing these uh, Arceus out? <laughs> oh my god. No share and scare in your hand. Pathetic. Uh, I mean, he tried. The guy tried. The guy tried. Just wow. A lot of mistakes.